G'day and welcome. What we're going to go on with now is a, a short demonstration on how to give CPR and the reasons behind why we give CPR. The reasons why we give CPR is so that we can circulate vital oxygen contained within the blood to the brain to prevent irreversible brain damage. What we'll do now with our demonstration here is show you how we can circulate that oxygen to the brain via the blood through compressions and breathing. The first thing we'll do now is the demonstration of the compressions. To deliver chest compressions, we need to place the heel of one hand in the middle of the chest. So if we can get our demonstration to do that. We then interlock our fingers. We keep our compression arm straight, which is this arm here and this one here. Pivoting from our hips, we use the upper body weight to compress the chest. So compress the chest using the upper body weight and just push down. You'll see that both of our demonstrations here are doing it at different rates. It's very important that we keep the rate so that we can circulate that oxygen to the brain. The rate that we use, if the ladies will just um, stop compressing for a second, the rate that we use, I will count and I'll say a number. Every time I say a number, you'll see a compression from the demonstration. Here we go, ladies. Hands into the middle. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. They'll keep going at that rate and they'll deliver 30 chest compressions. After you deliver 30 chest compressions, we must now deliver two breaths. To deliver the two breaths effectively, we must block the nostrils off using the index finger and thumb of one hand. So block the nostrils off. We'll place our face shields on the casualty's face to give us some protection against infectious diseases. We'll block the nostrils off using the index finger and thumb. We'll then grip the chin using what is called the pistol grip technique. This enables us to grip the chin and manoeuvre the chin directly to the ceiling or the sky which will tilt the head back. This will then open up the airway with the head tilted back. We lean over and we breathe once into the casualty's mouth. The breath should last about one second. After this breath, we turn ahead and we watch the chest. Look, listen and feel. We deliver a second breath. One breath again. Look, listen, feel. We now go straight in and deliver 30 more chest compressions. We place the heel in the middle of the chest. We interlock our fingers and we keep the compressions at that rate that we did before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they'll continue to do that until they deliver 30 chest compressions. 